if every major city is hit by a nuke tomorrow and civilization starts to collapse, where are you going to hold out? Where are you going to hunker down and survive? Probably, it's probably going to happen in stages. Um, and funnily enough, I had a, I really had a, um, a fun time doing a, um, a little survival thing for Sony when they came out with their apocalyptic game, The Last of Us. And it was a big promotional piece. And they said, well, can you teach us how to survive a zombie apocalypse? So I did all this stuff, which was kind of uh, fun. Um, and uh, But it still did cause me to think, you know, so stage one would be um, recognizing where all the things are within civilization that I can, and at this point with, the, with what you presented, that I can steal, pilfer, take, use. I'm protecting myself and my family now. You know, if I need a fire and I know that industrial building back there always has a bunch of pallets out the back of it, I'm going taking those pallets and making a big fire. You know, stuff like that, right? It's number one. Number two is because of, of, of everything to do with me and nature, I would just go, I would go to the woods. Now, sometimes a lot of us, you know, uh, and, and again, back to sort of the machismo guys and that and the hunters, I'm just going to go live in the woods. Well, you got to think about it. If the cities are destroyed, a, there's probably tens of thousands of other people thinking the same thought. B, everything's tainted anyway. Just because you're going to go off and hunt a deer doesn't mean that deer's not going to be tainted with nuclear fallout or the water's gone. So, so it, it's, you know, you'd have to really qualify this sort of fantasy question um, to really come up with the variables of what you'd do. But I would say that in stages, you become very self-protective and you, and you know... I, a lot of it is go to the industrial yards and see what's kicking around because those places are going to be ghost towns and, and anyway. You can get a lot of stuff in behind industrial buildings, you know, that you're stealing and you're stealing because the world's gone to crap. But the nature thing, then it all depends on your skill set. If you know how to be in nature, absolutely. But how many of us know how to go off and live in the woods and hunt a moose? And even if all that food was not tainted, that's a big skill set. Hunting is a very detailed, difficult skill set to acquire. It's very difficult to be a good hunter. It takes a lot of practice. So on a fantastical sense of it, if you're an accountant that lives in New York City and you've never done that, you're not just going to go off, you know, into the Adirondacks and start hunting tomorrow. It ain't going to happen. Are you yourself like a doomsday prepper? God, no. I think it's stupid. <laughs> okay. And I say that knowing full well that for the longest time, Survivor Man was like the patron pa uh, pa patron saint of dooms uh, of, of of preppers. You know, I think it's ridiculous. I mean, um, do I think being prepared is ridiculous? No. I'd rather see you prepared with skill sets than items. Now, for example, you know, you get these, uh, and here's my sort of mocking story to tell. There, you get these guys in the West, like when when it when it hits the fan. I'm going to be, you know, they think they're going to be sitting there at the front of their cave with their gun saying, you can't come near. And they've got their three-year supply of food, you know. And, you know, the Mormons, for example, have a long supply. Of... You know what you are when you have a three-year supply of food? You're a target of all the people who didn't do that, but who also have guns. And it's like, nobody's coming in here. It's like, really, nobody's coming in. So when your 12-year-old daughter is sitting there crying, saying, can you please let my best friend and her family come in? Their house was destroyed by the such and such by the war. You're going to say, no, they can't come in? What kind of beast are you? You're going to say, come in, come in. Most of us are going to react with love and kindness and generosity and say, come, we got no room, but come on, man. And now your three-year three -year supply is now an 18-month supply. Bring in some more people, now your 18-month supply is a six-month supply. But we're going to do that because we care about people. So the few idiots that say they're going to sit there with their shotgun on their porch, you're losers. They're, they're idiots. They don't know what they're talking about. That's another way it's going to work. And if it's apocalyptic, then you got to deal with the fact that, yes, all of the game animals out there, we're, we're all going to be dealing with whatever, whatever follow does to us. And so are the moose and the deer and the bear and the coyotes. Everything that's alive and biological is going to be dealing with this. So if it's not, if it's if it's a society collapse and not apocalyptic, not not nuclear oriented, then once again we're going to help each other. It's what we do, and we're not going to sit there. It's like it's not going to be every man for himself. There'll be factions of, of 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 political borders that might take place, like these four states kind of go together and close off their borders. We saw that with the pandemic, but individually, we're going to help each other. It's what we do. 
if you, I barely know you, Mark. You know, we've chatted for over the last year and a half to two, two years now, off and on. We were introduced because of Brian, wonderful Brian Mirarascu, the guy's a genius as far as I'm concerned. So, you know, based on this light relationship we have now, if you said, Les, I'm not far from you. Can can my wife and I come? And I don't even know if you're married, but can my wife and I come and, and stay? I'm just going to say yes. It's what we do, you know? So the whole prepping thing, I would rather see us prepped with strong skill sets, like how we started this conversation. Which skill sets? How to get a fire going and keep it going. Still vital, no matter what. How to acquire food and water. Acquire food and water. Yes, I do keep a small supply. A small supply. You know, I got about six months. I consider that a small supply. Um, yes, I know how to keep us warm and dry. These are the things. So the whole prepping thing, I find it kind of funny. Because again, anybody who advertises that they're prepping and they uh, is a target now. And a target for against target of whom? Oh, about 28,000 people who know that you've got this big supply of food in your basement. You know, not it's not gonna be you're not gonna be a target for your six neighbors. You're gonna be a target for your six hundred and eighty neighbors. Right? All of a sudden your little your AK forty seven and your supply of bullets, it's not gonna last that long. I clearly I've thought about this. Kinda scares me. <laughs>